I just got my hair cut just yesterday. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Doesn't it look so good? Oh! Look at her getting ready. There she is. She's so pretty. Prettiest one in the whole house here. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair, we're gonna do a vlog. What? Thank you to all the new subscribers. If this is your first time watching, um, we have a channel all about our journey to baby number one. Baby number one, what? Trying real hard. So uh, we do a video at least every Wednesday. Emphasize at least every Wednesday. We put a video up Monday. We're probably gonna put a video up this weekend. Yeah. So definitely come and check back. But if you only check back once a week, check back on Wednesday and you can catch up with everything. You ready all to right, get started? let's get started. Question number one. How long have you been TTC? How long have we been married? Yeah, so we pretty much started when we got married. So yeah. it's been um, a little over three years. But I would say we've been going to the doctors for a little, like, over, a year. For a little over a year. We um, went to the doctors January of 2015. Mm -hmm. And now it's March of 2016. Yeah. So. Um, how old are you and your husband? I am 28 going on 29. And I am 24 going on 25. <laughs> no. He's 30. I'm 30. On 30. Hey, not going on 31. I'm still closer to 30 than I am 31. His birthday's in August, mine's in April. How long have you been married? Um, we got married in October 20th. <laughs> you just have to look at our little thing. <laughs> we have a big sign over here. Um, you probably can't see it, but we have a big sign over here. It says 10 2012. Question number five. What are some crazy things you do while TTC? What's well, something crazy? Do you, I don't do I don't think I'm that crazy. You're pretty mild mannered. Yeah, I mean I'm doing acupuncture. Yeah. That's not I don't really think that's crazy though. Um I mean, not really crazy, but we, we pick up projects around the house. That's a different question. Oh, that's a different question. Okay. Well, we don't really do anything crazy. I don't, I mean, no. I can't think of anything crazy that we've done. Does your husband know all about the TTC cycle? Yes. I do? I taught him. She did teach me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had no clue how it even worked. Yeah, he didn't know, but I taught yeah. him. So he knows now. Have you been diagnosed with any kind of infertility? Yes, we both have. Mm -hmm. I have PCOS and I do not ovulate on my own. Yeah. And I have low testosterone and that makes my count super low. Well, it makes your motility. My motility. Like he has yeah. no motility. But that's been fixed. What keeps you busy in the two week wait? We actually have a video on this. Yeah, we'll tag it right up here. <laughs> yeah, so we already have a video on it, um, but really quick, some things we do. We like to pick up projects. We've painted um, half of this room. We need to paint the other half of this room. I built a pallet wall back there. Um, we've picked out colors for the nursery. Um, we painted half the hallway. We got a half painted house right now. <laughs> so we need to finish that. What day do you usually ovulate? Well, like I said, I don't ovulate on my own, so before I didn't. Um, now that I've been on Femera, um, which I'm on a triple dose of Femera, and I typically ovulate on day 13. Um, at least that's the day that they trigger me. The first time I went in, I got a positive ovulation test on day 12. And then we triggered and we did IUI on 13, and that's what we've done the last two cycles. But I don't know what day I actually ovulate. It's either probably day 13 or 14. What gender are you hoping for? I was just saying, I am I am always talking about a girl, not because that's what I want, but because whenever I have dreams about having about us like having a kid, it's always a girl. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling we'll probably have girls. 
Um, I really don't know, but I'd be happy either way. I would like to have a boy I eventually. I would like to have a boy eventually, but I would like to have a girl, I think, just as much. So. Yeah. At work, I work at a daycare. I always gravitate towards the towards the boys. They're just so sweet. Yeah. The girls are kind of like, eh, like they're whiny and. Yeah. Boys are like, let's go play. I like that. <laughs> um, number eleven. How many pregnancy books do you have? None. It's the internet age, people. We don't have books. <laughs> yeah, and I like. I've almost bought like what to expect when you're expecting, but I like, I stop myself every time because I want to save something for when I actually do get pregnant. Like yeah. I don't want to like get everything now and then when I get pregnant, it's like, oh, I already have this stuff. Like I want to do something fun when I actually do get pregnant. Yeah. Um, how many home pregnancy tests do you go through a cycle? When I first, when we first started, I would do a lot. Like I would do like maybe four, three or four. Now I do one, maybe two. Usually two because two come in the box. So. Yeah, I've just gotten pretty good at waiting. Yeah. <laughs> what have you bought for your baby slash pregnancy already? Ooh. Okay, so things we have bought already for sure, baby. Sure. Um, this is a Superman diaper cover because it was on sale for $1.99 and Robert, if you did not know, is super obsessed with Superman and I thought it would be cute for a little photo shoot. Boy or girl, I think it would look really cute. Um, this is a little hat that I crocheted. More Superman stuff. These are little um, pajamas, little sleepers. Little, little... Socks. Socks. <laughs> little Superman, Superman socks. Superman socks. So. This we've already showed on another vlog, but this is another sleeper that we got while we were at um, the Disney store. It is, um, it says good night little one and it has the, um, Dumbo. Dumbo, it has Dumbo right there. Um, just some things we got at Target, like on sale, like super sale, this was $2. Um, I think this would be cute on a boy or a girl, again, I'm trying to find like gender neutral Yeah, we're trying to pick up gender neutral things that are on sale. Another little onesie. Some little shorts. Oh my God, it's like a little. These were a dollar. Um, I don't even know where this came from. I don't either. I don't think we bought this. Someone we bought this. Um, this we got at Costco. The reason why we bought it is because I don't think you can read it, but it says "I'm Snow Cute," and it has a little ping on the bottom. It says I'm Snow Cute, and that um, that hints into something else that we'll have to do a whole another video on. Yeah, we're gonna do a video on it. And then I crocheted this little jacket sweater. <laughs> oh my goodness! And we've got this. This is a <laughs> it's a car seat canopy. So it just goes over the car seat. It's like minky on one side, and this pattern on the other side. Yeah, it's really cool. We actually got that for free. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so we've been getting a little things here and there. Um, I mean, obviously we're not like 100% ready, but we've been just getting little things here and there as we go. Um, if we see anything on sale that's gender neutral. All right, 14, what themes, designs do you like for a nursery? So yeah. we're doing Disney like all over, all different stuff. Yeah. Pinocchio, Peter Pan. And I think Snow we decided White. on more classic Disney, right? Mm -hmm. We decided on more classic Disney. Um, yeah, and it's just gonna have like a little undertone of um, Dumbo. Dumbo. So the reason why Dumbo is because in the opening scene of Dumbo, um, if you remember all of, if you've seen it, hopefully you guys have seen it, it is a classic. Um, but all the storks are flying in and they're dropping off these little bundles, you know, these baby bundles to all the different animals at the circus. Like there's like a giraffe and like all these different animals. And Dumbo's mom doesn't get one. And so she's sad and she's just like sitting there and she's looking around like, where's mine, where's mine? and she's like all worried and then there's a special delivery and the stork comes and he's running late 
<laughs> then he drops off um, Dumbo. Dumbo. So, anyway, that's kind of like us. Do you plan to do pregnancy vlogs? Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Who are your favorite moms to watch on YouTube? Everybody knows them. If you're watching this, then you've probably seen them. Ellie and Jared, Colin and Katie, Daily Bumps. Um, we really like the Hickman vlogs. Oh yeah, they're cool. Um, yeah, that's who we like. Yeah. I watch them every day. And do you, last one, number 17, do you have a birth plan? Yes, we have an idea of what we'd like to do. Um, my original thought growing up was I wanted to have a home birth. I wanted to... Have an in-home water birth, right? Yes. De deliver the baby at home. That way I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just here. But Robert, um, he grew... See, I, but I grew up around that. My aunt yeah. had a home birth. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom didn't, but she had an all-natural birth. I kind of grew up a little bit more around that. Robert did not. And... Um, his mom is actually really worried about it. Well, I'm a little worried about it too. Like, they I don't want know. me to go to the hospital. So we met in the middle mm -hmm. because our hospital is awesome. Um, the Greenville Hospital System (GHS). We have. Um, they actually have a midwife section. It's completely separate from the hospital. It's like going to a birth center, but it's part of the hospital. Yeah. So you're right there. Um, the rooms are beautiful. I've seen yeah. them online. We haven't gone to look at them, but I've seen them online and they're really cool. And you use a midwife. And that's what I want is I want to use a midwife. So I think it's a perfect medium. Yeah. I had a lot of problems when I was born. Like I was on a heart monitor for the first six months and stuff like that. The umbilical cord got wrapped around my neck, my heart stopped, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I just, I think meeting in the middle going close to the hospital, doing it at a place that would be like doing it at your house, um, using a midwife, we but have a still. a huge king size bed. Yeah. It like looks so fancy. But they still have all the equipment there and the people there mm -hmm. in case something goes wrong. If you guys have any more questions for us, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we will try to answer them. Let us know if you want us to do a q and I know a lot of people do Q&As, um, so if you have any questions for us. Um, it doesn't have to be TTC related. Yeah, it could be whatever, anything. Coming up this weekend, we're going to try our best, if it's good weather, um, to do our engagement story. So we're actually- Which is funny. Which is really funny. You're gonna want to see Yeah, you're, you're definitely gonna want to check back in for that. But um, her cousin is coming up from Orlando and her cousin wants to go see where we got engaged. So it's finally becoming nice weather outside. Um, so we're like, yeah, we'll do, a, we'll do an engagement story while we're up there. Yeah. Subscribe and we will see you guys next time. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to all our new subscribers out there. You guys are awesome. So, all right, check back with us. Guys, I almost forgot to mention, we, um, we've had a few of you reach out to us and say that you wanted to send us a couple things here and there. Um, so we went and got a P.O. Box, and the number is 1804, P.O. Box 1804, Simpsonville, South Carolina, 29681. So if you have anything to send us, um, definitely go ahead, flood that P.O. Box. Let's get our money's worth out of it. Um, I'll put it in the About page of us and uh, put it in the description below. But yeah, that's 1804, Simpsonville, South Carolina, 29681. All right. Look forward to seeing what you guys send us. Adios!